know is Stroke Awareness Month. And while many people may think of strokes as something largely impacting our older populations, that isn't always the case. I can tell you that I had a 40-year-old brother had a stroke. Your Northern Colorado reporter Dylan Thomas found out stroke rates among young adults in the region have nearly doubled in recent years. Hey, my friend, how we doing? January 23rd, 2023. It's that time again. UC Health nursing aide Mariah Sloan was doing her rounds, collecting vitals in the cardiac unit of Medical Center of the Rockies. I just felt very tired, very sleepy. After visiting with a patient, she went to work on the computer. So I start typing, you know, into my login, and I notice there was no connection being made to my left hand. Next thing you know, my whole left side gave out. I fell over into the chair. Her fellow nurses surrounded her, unsure of what was happening. She was slurring some of her words when one coworker asked her to smile. So I smiled really, really big for her. She said facial droop. You gotta alert the stroke team. At just 24 years old, Mariah was having a stroke. And I just remember being in the CT machine. So you can see exactly where that blood clot sat in her brain. 24 may seem young for a stroke, but UC Health says it's a growing trend. But it's definitely been a huge uptick in younger people coming in and seeking treatment for stroke. UC Health stroke coordinator Jamie Baker says in the last three or so years, the number of strokes seen in patients 18 to 45 has nearly doubled and it isn't clear why. One of the theories is definitely just that people are, you know, um, more sedentary, less active. We like things fast, um, fast food, things that are quick and easy and not necessarily healthy for us. What used to be a old man's tale is now a young person's tale. Mariah hopes sharing her story will increase awareness. Because never in a thousand years did I ever expect this to happen to me. Luckily for Mariah, her stroke happened in the right place at the right time surrounded by fellow nurses, possibly saving her from life-changing debilitations or even death. I can't thank them enough. I got married 70 days after the whole ordeal. Very thankful. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to think of what life would be like. Thus far, there is no research that would connect the COVID vaccines to this increase in stroke rates. But those who want to know what to look for when it comes to a stroke, think about BFAS, which stands for be on the lookout for issues with balance, eyes, face, arms, and speech, and no time is of the essence. In Northern Colorado, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Dylan Karen loves the wedding picture, by the way. Dylan doesn't just cover Northern Colorado for us. He lives there. You sent, uh, just let him know what's going on there by reaching out through cbscolorado.com or by calling 303-863-TIPS. All right, covering Colorado first now.